I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Which celebrities have hit on you <laughs> from Entertainment Tonight? If you don't answer, I tickle you. <laughs> no. All right, I'm coming over. Here we go. Oh, my God, Howard, no. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>! <laughs> no! Hi there, I'm Maria Menunos here to be on the infamous Howard Stern show that I've been listening to forever. Very excited to talk to Howard. Um, not scared. Um, really not scared about what my mom is going to have to hear today. And I did tell her not to listen. Maria, what channel? Mom, uh, I think it's on AM. <laughs> so hopefully she won't be watching this or listening to the show. Because she's going to find out things that she really doesn't want to know. All right, let me meet this Maria Menounos. I, I decided to have her on because we haven't had a hot chick in here in a while. And e, the E channel always gets the highest ratings with hot chicks. Mm -hmm. And Booker told me she's real hot because he works with her at Entertainment Tonight. She's on the cover okay. of stuff, but something troubles oh me goodness. about this stuff shoot. Let me take a look. Get out of my way, Baba Booey. I can't see her. Whoa, honey. I get, I get what everyone's carrying on about. I hear what the, I, I get it. Now, what's troubling you, though? You I'll tell you. Hi, Maria. How are you? Oh, you just Carrie, got whacked in the face. Too? Carrie just whacked her in the face with your oh, headphones. Oh, dude. You have to tell me how to make these, like, fashionable. <laughs> oh, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> you pull it off. No way. Headphones are not fashionable, my love. I yes, Baba Buhai. Well, you'll figure it out. She's got, she gets sort of a funny laugh. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I heard Baba it in the Boo. green room. I thought it was Baba a goo. Oh, what the? <laughs> yeah. Like uh, the chick yeah. Like oh. the chick on Friends. <laughs> That's a problem. I can't get rid of it. Who cares? You're a hot chick. First of all, let me compliment you on your choice of outfit. Thank you. Your top is hot. You're not wearing a bra. I can see your breasts. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a, how do you describe this outfit, the shirt? Describe it for my audience. I, you know, it's uh, a yellow, cottony soft cotton yeah and your um, breasts are real i can tell busty. that you can oh good yeah. so the controversy's over you just ended it <laughs> who's where what's the controversy <laughs> you know after the oscars i wore this diamond dress yeah and you know it was like the first time people had ever seen boobs i think they're like <laughs> are those fake and they were comparing mine to carmen's and well, those are real any real man would know that you know See? that right away i was huh? gonna yeah. no nope, they're real they're nice <laughs> very nice i'd say you're about a b or full this small, small c small c yeah. Nice. Thank you. Natural. And you're thin. Thank you. Very rarely see a small C or on a woman who's thin. You better go to the circus. You're wasting your talents here. I'm good, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. I'm good I, at this. I used to be bigger, though. You know, you should have seen me in my heyday. That's you were a heavier? Double D. Yeah, I was. You were a fat chick? I wasn't a fat chick. I was just plump. Wow. Happy. Man, no, happy. I couldn't imagine. Ha you're not happy now? No, I am. <laughs> How'd you lose all the weight? Just starved? Um, you know what? It got to the point where I was starting to compete with football players to see who could, you know, eat the most. Yeah. And that's when I knew it was a problem. So I started cutting back. <laughs> How old are you? 25? Yeah. All right. So you are a, you're a reporter for Entertainment Tonight. Mm-hmm. I pull for a girl like you. I, I don't mean I pull it. I mean I pull for a girl like you because you were a janitor. <clears throat> yeah. So the fact that you're making some money on entertainment tonight, although God only knows what they what pay. What building was she cleaning? Janitor. Yeah. yeah, she was a janitor. At a hard rock club in Boston called The Channel. Oh, and you cleaned you vomit and feces? Everything, yeah. It was pretty nasty. Yeah. But it was, I mean, it held like 2,000 people, so you it know, was an enormous job. I think wow. tonight's, tonight's going to be the first time I pleasure myself to a former janitor. <laughs> All right, so let me get this straight. Okay. You've never had a boyfriend? A real no, boyfriend? No, I have. It said in the interview you never had a real boyfriend. No. You lost your virginity? I wasn't able to have a boyfriend until I was 18, though. Why? Because my parents were very strict. Uh-huh. And so you wanted a boyfriend, but you couldn't have one. Yeah, I wanted one, but I kind of knew at a young age that what my parents were saying was for my own good, because I started seeing people get pregnant around me and right. getting all sorts of trouble. So I kind of was like, you know what? Maybe they Secretly, know I was very happy that they were very strict with me, because I don't know. I could have gotten in a lot of trouble myself. That's weird. You're really hot, and you appear to be intelligent. Is this true? Yeah. yeah you I have guess. normal intelligence and everything? I think normal. Wow. Yeah. I wouldn't say anything exceptionally I have almost profound, normal intelligence. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm wondering, when were you cleaning uh, the, the club? How old Till were I you? Till I was 13. Till you were 13? Yeah. Boy, your dad sounds like he was a real successful yeah, I was guy. Yeah, they were 
having you clean toilets. He you know have... what? It's great because my work ethic is insane. And if I didn't have that, you know, most... But couldn't your dad get a job where he didn't have to have you cleaning toilets? He didn't was speak he... English. Oh, so what I was he going to do? Oh, I see. He's an immigrant. My parents, you know, both came from Greece. Right. And, and the they first did you job a favor. Was a, being, he was a meat cutter right. with my godfather. And then he got this job at this club and because uh, some Greek guy, you know, worked there. And and he got the whole family busy in it? We all... So, I mean, from the time I could, you know, hold the broom, we were in there changing right. trash bags. I had wow. a, Jeez, my, some people my have first all the luck. friend was a homeless guy oh. his name was Al and he saved me from getting kidnapped once anytime you would find money in the parking lot like think of a hard rock Let's get back club. To your sex people life. are like on <laughs> drugs whatever they leave money behind like bring me money all the time you ever have sex with another girl no would you ever consider it no would you ever have sex with another girl in front of your boyfriend no even if he said to you honey please maybe all right <laughs> you might do it <laughs> we go <laughs> Wow. Hey, what's this? You said you thought I was attractive, or you just said you like the show? I think you're attractive, but I also think you're amazing. Okay, oh, can I tell you, first talking. of all, here, let me Would just, you remove your jeans? I, fi <laughs> I finally have to tell you what I've been waiting to tell you for years, because I've listened to you forever. Oh, good. Long time listener. Uh, I hope it's called? that you want to walk uh, into that bathroom and have sex with me. Anything no, short of that will be dissatisfying. No, you have a gorgeous girlfriend. Thank you. don't you. need anybody else. That's true. Um, but... You're so underrated as an interviewer. Yes. Brilliant. It's not what I'm okay, waiting no, to hear. No, no. Here's what I have to say. Here's what I have to say. When you Thank you, but who cares? When you interviewed Snoop and you were asking him how strong his pan pan was, yes. you interviewed him with such like a serious tone, almost I was as if serious. you were talking about the president on foreign policy. Well, I mean, whoever saw a guy like this? This guy, he, he gets these women in line and he's got all this action going. I mean, You're amazing, though. You know, no offense. That's such a nice compliment. But You're so funny. Talk about my boy and how badly no. you want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Did that ever cross your mind? I don't want to hear you know, what a brilliant interviewer funny. I am. I never really thought about that one. Yeah, do I you ever think, think about, any woman has ever had that thought. Do you ever yeah. think about my balls? Do you ever think, gee, I really want to see Howard's balls? I'm being such a great interviewer. You know? <laughs> no. He's such a great interviewer. No. I wonder what his <laughs> looks like. Damn it. I'm sure they're cute. Let me, let me be uh, honest here and, yeah. and tell you my thoughts. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you a question since I'm such a great interviewer. Uh, could I get you, theoretically? Could you get me? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if I was charming. Here's the thing. Go ahead. You are charming, so Thank I, you. I think so. Thank you. You think I could if get you? If you made me laugh, hell yeah. Oh, I can make you laugh. <laughs> not, not to say I'm easy, like you're going to make me laugh. and I'll tie you up and you, tickle but... you. You'll be laughing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make you laugh. You're running for the hills with that laugh. <laughs> oh. are, you, are you telling me that uh, I would have a shot with you? Yeah, why not? Wow. Seriously, why not? Hi. Robin's like, you're right. <laughs> Look at her you face. You don't believe it? You think she's lying? <laughs> I have no idea. I just met her. Robin gets embarrassed during my romance. <laughs> she does. She does. Michael, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Uh, I want to know, you and I both, we are like feet. What does her feet look like? How are your feet? Let me see. Well, take off your shoe for a second. Let me take a look. Do you want to walk over there? Yeah, walk over. Okay. No, wait. Here, I'll take a look. Okay. Hey, They're well manicured. Don't worry. <laughs> Pick your foot up. Hey, yeah, she's got good feet. They're not oh. ugly. They're not ugly feet. It's a heck of a body on this broad. I'll tell, yeah, you, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Hey, Howard. Yeah. You got any uh, prize money? Not now. I'm in the middle of interviewing a hot chick. <laughs> okay. Sean, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hey. Yo, this girl's smoking hot. Smoking hot. Smoking Guys hot. must hear that. You know what I don't get with you? You say you never went out with any celebrities or anything, right? Mm -hmm. Except for the Vin Diesel rumor, which you deny. Yes. You didn't make out with him? No. You telling me the truth? I'm. I swear. Because he's vile. <laughs> He's not vile. Let me let me let me understand something. You're on Entertainment Tonight, so you interview tons of celebrities. Yeah. No, and nobody's hit on. Nobody's you? hit on you. Not one celebrity. I mean, you're a gorgeous woman. What what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I don't Tell really the pay truth. attention. Oh come on, they, stop you know, it. You're a reporter. You must pay attention to everything. No, I get really caught up in the moment and get excited to you know talk to them and whatever. But no one has said to you afterwards, "Hey, you're really cute. I want to ask you out or something." You know, on Why occasion, not, but yes, that's happened. On occasion, yeah. maybe. So who yeah. asked you out? No, I'm not gonna say. Come on, no. Colin Why? Farrell. No, <laughs> I haven't interviewed him yet. I'm waiting for the digits. No, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, has anybody given you their phone number? No. What but do they has say anybody to you? said let's hang out after or something? Wesley Snipes. Yeah, you say that, but you know what? I can't hang out. I they work. Yeah, me but like who a said dog. it to you? Listen, if I wanted to go out with you. 
I would say to you, hey, after you're done editing your... your Are you gonna? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. John Stamos has a hand on you yet? No, you know, oh, you I'm know surprised. what's funny is I interviewed him once. Um, with no, he'll be, hitting, he'll be hitting on you soon. Oh, boy. Or she'll be hitting on you. Someone, one of the, one of the two of them will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, both of them are free. Yeah, that's know, right. I, I think I'd pick Rebecca over him. <laughs> Me too. I'm with you on that. How'd you get that job at Entertainment Tonight, by the way? Uh, through my agent. I was at Channel One News. Yeah. And he had heard that they were looking for someone sent over a tape, and I went and auditioned. And that was it? That was pretty much it. They pay good over there? I can't imagine they do. They're okay. They could do better. You make over 100 Yeah. You got it, right? Yeah. How long have you been there? Uh, two years. You make, what, about, what do you make, about 200000 <laughs> no. I don't even think you make that much, do you? Yeah. Up? Yeah. Over 200? 200. But that's, that's it. I'm not good. saying anything that's else. Good. And you didn't have to bang anyone? I didn't have to bang anybody, no. Bob, what's up? Howard, how you doing, baby? Morning, everybody. Hey, now. Uh, Maria, I was wondering what kind of underwear you're you're wearing. Uh, thongs, G-strings, or... Or pants, none. Bloomers? It's always the G. The G? What about today? A G? Mm-hmm. You ever walk around with no underwear? Mm, not a big fan of that. When we date, you, I take out... Well, you're going to wear a dress with no underwear, yeah. Okay. I like that. Okay. I make you should have worn one today for you, Howard. I don't know what she was thinking. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm lame. I'm sorry. You're lying. <laughs> You're lying to me. <laughs> Stop it! Are you ticklish? I am. You know what? I got to put her in the tickle put her chair. In the tickle chair. And then listen to her laugh. <laughs> let's do it. Come on, let's have some fun. That'd be funny. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'll do the tickle chair. I'll do whatever you want. You will? Good. All right. Well, maybe not. Do the tickle chair. So <laughs> if we tickle you, I want to hear that laugh, like, oh, repeatedly. Oh, God. You know what? There's different octaves, I've noticed. Like, if I'm sick or if I'm really tired, it gets really high-pitched or crazy. It's bizarre. I'm sorry. I've really... I've tried my hardest to get rid of it because I get a lot of shit for it. Oops. Oh, I say that, oh. that word. Oops. Can't say that. Oops. Yeah, you know, I put, I put like, Carmen Electra and stuff in this chair, and I go to tickle them, and then nothing happens. Huh. You well, know what they always say is feet. people that are uncomfortable with their bodies are ticklish. I'm not uncomfortable with my body, but I've always been ticklish. Where, where are you most ticklish? On your sides? Yeah, probably like in here. That's right. I'm going to tickle you. If you don't mind me, put my hands on you. Okay. Just don't pull my shirt off, please. I won't, I swear. <laughs> that would be wrong. Howard, please pull her shirt off. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going in the tickle chair. All right, let's put you in the tickle chair. Okay. And I'll t attempt to tickle you and get that laugh going. Make sure your top stays on. All right, strap her in. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, make sure that top stays on, Maria. Yeah, make sure your top stays okay. on. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be embarrassed and see your breasts. <laughs> All right, get her in the chair. Can I have to lay down? No, no, just sit down. Sit down. Oh, my God. I'm strapping in here. Yeah, you're getting strapped in. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. Hey, Gary, do me a favor. <laughs> strap her in really tight so that she doesn't get out. I'm with you. Oh, my God. There's, like, belts and stuff. This is, is the tickle chair. I'm coming <laughs> over, honey. I may need it. <laughs> Oh, no. Here we go. Here he comes. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> why do I put myself in these situations? Because you love oh, it. Gary, it's tight enough. Because you enough, love it. <laughs> Gary, it's your job if she slips out. Oh, I like your pants. Really? Hot. Thank you. I got to say, Howard, she's very skinny, so her, those hands are trying to get out, but I think they're in tight. Yeah, they're How in How much tight. do you weigh? Uh, Like 120. Right. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Which celebrities have hit on you from Entertainment Tonight? If you don't answer, I tickle you. <laughs> no. All right, I'm coming over. You uh, watch. Yeah. You can tell me. me you see, see what I see. All right, here. Let me see if I can. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. I'm a little nervous touching you. <laughs> Where do you touch? <laughs> I'm not sure. The top is be, really much Be careful. <laughs> oh, don't do it, please. <laughs> oh, I got a winner here. She's into this. You are really locked in. You can't move, can no. you? I can't. I'm having a heart attack. Mm. Will you stop at some point, please? Because I'm not No, I'm not stopping. So do you want to think that over and tell me which celebrities <laughs> hit on you? Or do you want your tickling now? Just give it to me. All right, here we go. What would you say? Just give it to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you want to tell me you which celebrities hit on me, you? Like, here we go. Oh, my God. Howard, no. Now, I'm going to ask you again. Okay. First of all, who is your master? You. <laughs> who? You didn't say my name. Howard.
Howard Stern. I'm going to ask you again nicely. Yes. Which celebrities, <laughs> give me two names, guys that hit on you when you were interviewing them. Are you okay. going to tell me? Okay. Go ahead. You. I didn't hit on you. Damn. <laughs> I will later, but not right okay. now. Well, can't we think about the future? I am psychic. Who is the other one? <laughs> I think President Bush kind of did. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did kind of. You're lying. <laughs> All right, now let's get back into it. I'm going to ask you again. This is like a workout. Name two. This is so this is frigging Abu hot. I can't wait to pleasure myself later. I, got, I might have to leave work early. She is Abu smoking Grape hot. East. These are the kind of games we're going to play, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I feel like my head is burning. Let me see. Oh. Oh, baby. oh, that feels good. You put on makeup for me today. I can see that. I know. My makeup artist did it. She's you want, outside. You wanted to please your master. <laughs> this could all be over if you just give up those names. Oh, my it God. It could all be over. Three You're not getting out of the chair till you give me two names. Three simple words. David Hyde Pierce. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I'm going to ask you again, and here are my hands. No! <laughs> here are my hands. Oh, my, my big God. hands. Gary, help. Come give me some names. Well, tell you, Vin Diesel hit on you, right? Well, you know what? I guess that could count because everybody thought he did. No, so. but you said he didn't. Why I is Gary? Well, he kind of did on Are camera, right? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> She had a conniption. Wow. Sit back down. I'm going to ask you again. <laughs> look at her cans. Like, she lost her headphones. Oh, for the love of God. Man, you look good from this. She's going to be exhausted. What? My clothes are starting to come off. Now. Yes, your clothes are starting to come off, aren't they? <laughs> that is the hottest Greek janitor I've ever seen. Are you enjoying this? <laughs> yes. You are, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. You like my hands on you. I do. You do? You like it? Yes. Why wouldn't I? You're going to like it some more because you're going to give me those names. Oh, my God. Vivant the names. I'm going to ask you again nicely. Oh, your hand is out. Gary. Oh, how did she She get escaped. Out? She escaped. She's running away. God damn it. I knew she'd escape. Her feet are still bound. Wait. Okay, now. <laughs> I'm free. You know, we got to fix the tickle. T oh. <laughs> She's fighting oh, back. Abs, What'd you say? You got some good abs. You're damn right. When I take my clothes off, I'm going to look good in front of you. All right. All right, tickle torture over. I had enough. She got out. You killed me. Yeah, she got loose. You know How are they? I put them on the tightest that they go. You got it. You know what? I want a refund on this chair. <laughs> oh, I saw a little areola there. Oh, stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a little bit I saw, yeah. Yes. Lucky man. I saw a little manu nu 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 Well, you're a good sport, Maria. Oh you got to see her. You got to see her breast jumping up on. Oh, oh that don't worry, funny. I saw it. Yeah. That was, well, he had a perfect shot. <laughs> Look, you can see it right now. Oh boy! Oh, oh my God! It's in slow mo. Wow. Look at this. That looks like a porn film. <laughs> oh, does that look good? Oh my! That's that's gonna be a hot e show. You got to watch that. I had a great time. I like I had you. Bruises tonight. I like that. Was it rough? Uh, yeah. Oh no. Uh, you oh, know I was rough. You damn right I was. <laughs> she's got. She's got. I just got effed hair. Look at her. Well, you know there's she a... had that look like she was exhausted. Oh, from she your loved workout. it. Oh my god, my head is burning. Baby, <laughs> your head. How many guys make your head burn? <laughs> you make my oh, crucial you. head I don't burn. Know if that's a good thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm going to pleasure myself to you tonight. Oh my goodness. Uh, tonight I'll be the, the, uh, twelve o'clock noon today. And you know I noticed you responded to that master stuff pretty well. You of like course. that? You've done that before. Did I hurt you? <laughs> no, not not really. Oh, too bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Oh, know. I saw a little areola there. Oh, stop! <laughs> no, <laughs> I just a little bit. I saw. Yeah, yeah. lucky man. I saw a little manu nu nu No. Well, you're I'm a hot chick. I was worried that you'd be boring. I was worried that you'd have nothing to say. But you know what? I have too much to say. Look at look at the two My of them, Rob. They look like they just bad. Yeah, look they look hair. like they they're just finished. <laughs> I know, I know. And yeah. we got to Whoa. watch, Artie. Look at us. <laughs> Voyage. You know what? You're, what are we doing? Here. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> I almost had this. You know what? The only person I had more fun with in the tickle chair was Alan Thick. <laughs> That's the truth. That's tough competition. Jeez, I couldn't beat him, huh? See Maria Menounos on the cover of the June issue of Stuff Magazine, available on newsstands now, and look for Maria's film in the Land of Merry Misfits in theaters at Christmas time. It's over already? 
We did. You, believe it or not, we were on for 45 minutes. <gasps> Wow. This is longer than entertainment Are you going to have me back? I am. Okay, good. Are you going to wear a little skirt for me? I promise. <laughs> All right. I like that. All yeah. right. Maria Menounos. Check Thank her out on guys. Entertainment Tonight as well. She's a reporter on there. And I think Booker's in love with her. Yeah. But uh, sure. I told Booker, I'm like, if I go once during this week, will you come with me? Oh, and then please. I forgot to call. Who needs him? <laughs> she reminds me of Linda Lopez a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. But little I also bit. see a little Sandra Bullock, a little, yeah. uh, what's that, Will and Grace woman? I oh, don't say that. That's an insult. What? Sean Hayes? No, not Sean Hayes. Deborah Messing. Oh, Deborah yes, Messing. You've heard that before. Yeah, you're my type. Actually, that's the first time I've heard her. Really? Mm hmm. You're my type. You have a vagina. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like that. Right? Yeah. You have a beautiful vagina. Beautiful one. <laughs> I bet. That was awesome. Maria. Yeah. Hold on. How was the tickle chair? The tickle chair was crazy. He really tickles hard. Like, I was, I think I'm going to have bruises. You escaped. I did. I was sneaky. Gary was like, Tightening the belt, and he's like, Are you, are, is it tight enough? I'm like, Oh, yeah, I can't get you out of this. A sport. I, I, and I, you know what? I held out. You I let them tickle me and tickle me and tickle me and tickle me, and then finally I had a break free. Did, I you, couldn't did really you enjoy that? I mean, why did you, why did you try to escape? Because <laughs> it had to end. It had to end. Like every great thing, it had to end.